join us as we do part two today here at the Koku Kai Show here at the Bowers Museum. I'm Carol Epson and I'm with Kofu Bonsai Kai and this is our show at the Bowers Museum in Santa Ana. We will be here again tomorrow, Sunday, until 4 o'clock and I hope to see you here. Well, welcome back everybody. So this is part two today. Um, this is, we're at the Bowers Museum here, the Kofu Kai Show 2023. Um, they do have several displays. Let me just kind of do a quick pan. You can see all the little displays going down the row here. So let me go down this row really quick as we did the same thing in San Diego. Here is, it looks like a California juniper. Doesn't really say on that one, but oh no, it's California juniper from Mike Walsh, which is kind of interesting on this one. Not really the main tree, but actually is the exit. Um, when I walked by, I went, that looks like rust. I thought it was a, like a ceramic pot, but it's actually a brake rotor, if I'm correct. Um, if you tap on it here, there's like a ting sound, so no metal. Mike Walsh, I know this is your tree. Please respond if that is a true brake rotor. Really unusual uh, a, a succulent tree, which was talked about that. This tree was actually upright, actually leaned to the side, which is kind of interesting. That really brings out that shape. Of course, we just talked to Carol this earlier. Excuse me. <laughs> Thanks, Carol. Uh, here is a display by Peter Mack, of course, the Shoheen. Uh, Five-point display using an odd number. Uh, Boston or Virginia Creeper, if I'm correct. A nice little olive at the bottom. The anchor today in the corner is that uh, crap apple. Pyrocanthon on the very top. On the very top usually is a... Uh, con uh, conifer conifer a coniferous plant um that and that, that looks like a shampaku with a, a nice gin on top going down this middle aisle here let me take a round right here should it look like a film tree this is uh should be from cheryl manning uh it was john naka's uh flowering pear if i remember um this was in our show before uh in by Cohen Show, Winter Silhouette, at Flowers. You can look at right now, you can see the little small crab apples from this tree. Really nice, really drum pot, really nice on this one. I'm gonna pass it to Dukey really quick. Uh, really interesting. Uh, crepe Myrtle. This is from uh, Maribel LeBlanc. Um, look at that beautiful crepe Myrtle. You know, my tree already flowered. Really cool, this is almost that pink, or that powder pink. Have a, it looks like a little bit powder mildew. I'm not sure what that is, but that looks a very nice, very tree. My Boonjin with a nice pot on that one. Um, backside here, we have a really cool uh, California juniper. Still almost in the raw form, but what I do like about it, it's really that raw, that really naturalistic deadwood. Um, can't really do that by hand. Really cool, so original. A quick ficus here. This almost looks like a Benjamina. It is a Benjamina. Ah, look at that. I can identify my, my ficus pretty good now. It used to look like a multi trunk, really carved out that middle section out there. Quick black pine. Um, nice even needles. Really nice barkage on that one. Probably, my guess, 15. 15, 10 years old, 20. Nice needle, nice needle paddage. Again, um, wire edge, it's okay. Um, as to be in a display tree, it looks like it's been on there for a while and it looks like it's kind of aged really well. So you can't really tell there's actually a wire on that one. We got down a, another row. I took it out of the pot and threw it away. There's an elm um, with a nice, really dead. There's a dead wood feature right on that one. A really big trident maple. Looks like it's actually a second leafage. Is that the foliage is a much younger peachy color, so that's kind of that much younger foliage. If you want to notice, see. So this is like a fall, a fall um, push of growth. So that's a, that fall color. Not the fall color, but this 
it's like a fall push of growth. Here's a really cool uh, pomegranate composition here. Um, what's interesting is these pomegranates you see, it comes, I think it came from a different tree because they're just hanging on there, which is kind of cool if you don't really pay attention. Um, but it's really cool. It's still, you know, I think scaled perfectly the fruit it is. Here we have a um, hawthorn. So again, we've seen this tree at the Winter Silhouette in that full red berries. This is transitioning from that summer growth to that fall growth. Uh, we do hit fall tomorrow. Uh, and then you notice that they're already starting to turn that hawthorn red, that bright cherry red color. So um, be a, this is that transition from summer to fall. Really big uh, prostrata or oh, procumbens. That's for sure. Oh, I'll come back. I have some people behind me. Let me turn around really quick. Here looks like a Utah juniper, I think. Yes, it is. Can confirm that one. Tom Vong, it's a huge cascade. Um, can't. The Deadwood feature is actually pretty amazing on this one. They go to the side and see how well that dead feature looks with the live vein. I wonder originally what's the orientation of this tree. Um, just because um, usually that living's on the protected side. I wonder if this is original orientation, how um, Tom actually dug this tree up. That, that, if I find him, I would love to talk about that tree. This is the orientation. Um, we've seen this tree at the last um, uh, John Naka Memorial Show. This is that Tokan or the straight, the formal upright. Um, and this Utah juniper, you can see that dead would kind of interweave. I didn't get a chance to film this tree at the uh, Nambukai. He showed up just after I finished filming. So uh, let me get a better detailed shot of this one. You can see the ribbon-like Utah juniper right down the middle. You see that dead wood coming up, kind of weaving in and out of that living, almost like a candy cane, almost like a candy cane, candy cane stripe with a ten, with a apex of her tank in. It's really cool on that one. Still with the original foliage. If you look at that, it's really that that silverly um, needle-like foliage. I'll come back to this aisle, um, this little pack today. Again, um, the show runs to tomorrow, Sunday. Um, I hope to get this video out and within the afternoon. Here we have a Kuzumoto display, a really big Kuzumoto display with a <laughs> classic, classic uh, Mexican um, S tile. Um, if you have a roof like that, it's kind of cool. Really a nice uh, composition here. <clears throat> Another classic thing you see during um, the fall are these crab apples, especially with those apples. You can check these apples out. Nice and full fruit. They're actually pretty good size for a crab apple. Look at that, compare my hand. Really good size on those crab apples. Here is on this side. Um, this is from Dave Miles. This is a uh, Femina. Nice pattage. You can see a nice straight pattage on that one. I'm gonna go on the other aisle. We got some a lot of visitors right now. This is in the late afternoon. Here's a big uh, European olive. Uh, this probably was cut out from a stump earlier. Let's see if we can find its cut line uh, or a burl. So this is part of the burl side of it. That was part of the original on the outside of the tree. This was part of the originally the inside of that burl cut. Um, that's my, so Carol, I'm gonna talk to you about how that tree kind of looked like before. We have a collection of trees here. Um, so we got a boxwood, a uh, looks like a uh, dwarf um, J tree, and it looks like a Frankie type because that's or a cork bark that has that, that corkiness of it. Uh, a rosemary, uh, looks like an elm tree that's almost going to fall color here. 
and then a uh, narrowleaf ficus there. And this is apparently this is uh, actually student trees, um, which is kind of cool. So and on this side we have a boxwood. It almost like, it looks like a twin trunk here. Um, they're really cool. Boxwood's pretty cool. Really a hardwood. Really nice on that one. I can go down the middle without bothering people here. Uh, so we do have a quick, looks like a cork bark elm. <laughs> really low. And of course, I'm going to pass by that one really quick. Fun part of coming to shows. Sometimes you don't get to see all the trees. Here is a, a really big Itaugawa uh, juniper. It's probably my guess. A San Jose at one point. I'm just seeing, I can see the graph lines there. There's a graph line right there. There's one in the crotch as I can see. So this was probably originally San Jose, but is really well grown. Been growing out for a couple of years to really get that pouch out. Again, it's okay to see wiring, especially it's done well. Uh, and it's probably one of the last trees I'm going to probably present today. And it's a giant quince. We don't see these very often, especially with these fruit. Check these giant, these are giant fruit. Look at that, giant fruit, big apples. Quince tree. Um, yeah, you know, I've never seen a quince in flower like this. This is actually kind of cool. I wonder what it smells like. I mean, I'm gonna take a sniff test. No, no fragrance at all. Just like a giant apple. That's kind of cool. Let me do a pan shot really quick and let's roll out of here. So that's the Bauer, uh, the Kokukai show here in the Bauer Museum this weekend. If you guys really want, if you're in the area, come down, watch it. Uh, if you guys like the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.